Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to install this vinyl gutter system on Dad It Yourself. Hey, good morning, everybody. So, maybe this house is a little familiar to you. This was my gutter job from uh, a little over a year ago. I put these in. My most popular video ever. Uh, still holding up nice. As you can see, they got a little debris in there. But we're going to clean those out, we're going to fix that up with some gutter guards later. But the project today is to put this run in along here. It's about 45 feet straight shot with two downspouts. Uh, they had a branch come down out of one of these trees this winter during a windstorm and ripped that gutter completely off the house. So we're going to put some new vinyl gutters on there with some gutter guards and should take a couple hours. Let's get started. Okay, so you hang the gutter using these brackets and they are placed in a 10 foot section, 12 inches from each end, and then 18 to 24 inches apart. So five or six per 10 foot section. And they're real easy. You just kind of line them up and then slide them right down. So if you buy the fasteners from Merrimax, they're a Phillips tip uh, screw with a white tip. I like to use these T25 stainless steel inch and a quarter. Um, they're a lot easier to put in, they don't strip, and if for some reason you have to take them back out, again the Torx head is really easy to take them back out. So that's what I use. Okay, so this is the center bracket of the center section of gutter. So this is the high point. I'm going to go ahead and drive this screw in and then follow the chalk line down as I work my way out towards the downspouts. Connectors are two piece. They have the inner piece that has this butyl uh, gasket on it and then the outer clip piece. What we do is we put the inner piece in now and that will help us align the next section and then I'll come back once I've hung the next section and clip on this clip. And as you can see, one gasket's still out and one gasket's in here. So as you can see here, I have the inner piece with the gasket centered on the seam. And now over here, I have the outer. And what you do is you go in from the back, and I left the screws a little loose so I could pull this out a little, and you slide it up underneath from the back, and you hook over this edge like that, make sure it's nice and seated, and then pull the front edge up and over. And that's sealed. So, hey, because we have less than 10 feet now, what I want to do is I put in the uh, downspout cradle and then that will give me a way to measure from the end of the last gutter section to the cradle. Now, in the cradle, there are little hash marks. I don't know if you can see them, but they're temperature associated. And what you have to do is you have to measure from the end of the last gutter to this mark based on the current ambient temperature that day. Because, for example, say it's a really hot day and then you put it way out here on the end and then that winter it retracts. This plastic actually contracts with temperature. It would pull out of the end of this and fall. So you, on a cold day, you want to have it closer to the end. In a warm day, it would move inward. Okay, so I've measured this gutter out. I need 77 inches from the end of the last 10 foot section down to the gutter downspout. So I've got my mark right here. I'm gonna use a reciprocating saw. I use a fine tooth blade. You can use pretty much any blade, but I get the best cut with a fine tooth blade. You can use a hand saw, a hacksaw, uh, just about anything to cut these things with. They're, uh, it's really simple.
Okay, so the last section we got is the end piece that goes from the end of the roof down to the downspout. And have these nice little end caps with the uh, Buna gasket in there again. And you just fit that right on there. Gotta get it in there. Takes a little bit of work. Just kind of work it around. seat that on there nice and tight and this piece is pretty short so I only need one bracket let's put this one in okay we are done 45 ish feet took me about an hour maybe an hour and 15 minutes uh, filming does slow things down a little bit so the next thing we need to do is put the downspouts on, one there, one over here, and the gutter guards. Okay, so this is how you connect the downspout collector to the actual downspout. There's actually a flow arrow on here. You'll see that there's a female connection on one side and a male connection on the other. And you want to use the female connection down to the flow arrow, and that just snaps up on the collector like that. And then you take an opposing collector again with the flow arrow, and it's going to go against the wall. I just have to measure this distance for a pipe. Okay, so you connect all the downspot pipes using these self-tapping screws with the little enamel heads on them. And try to put the screws on the top sides of all the ducting so you don't create a leak in the pipe. So you saw me install these two brackets. They hold the vertical downspout, which I've already cut to length. And you just seat that up in the pipe. And get it in there. There it is. There it is. And then set those in with some of those screws. side of this clamp right here just as an extra measure to keep it from sliding out. Normally, when you get to the bottom of the downspout, you'd use another one of these 45s with a tailpiece on, like this. And then the water would just come out this way. But because the, the roof slopes this way, you don't want the water coming this way because it'll go up under the shingles. So they actually make this piece here that turns the pipe 90 degrees. So if I put this on here like this, you can see now the water is going to go down the roof this way. All right, so as you can see, that downspout goes down the slope. And I just finished this one out here, and it comes all the way out down the slope again. A lot of people ask, hey, well, why don't you just take that and either go off the side of the house or come down to this gutter with a pipe? Well, that's just not how it's done. Uh, rain's already hitting these shingles anyways. A little bit more from up above ain't going to make a difference. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there is a little bit of wear right here. But uh, this is a 30-year roof, and it's been here for a while, and it's doing okay.
Okay, so I'm putting the gutter guards in. I already put this front piece in, and pretty much what they do is they slide up under the shingles, and then they clip into the top of these brackets. And to go from the next one to the next one, obviously you want to get a, a, a bracket as close to the seam as possible. But what you do is you actually take a little nip out of the end of this, about three and a half to four inches, and they overlap each other, and that actually provides that support for the joint so that nothing gets in between. And I just used a pair of metal snips like this, and I just cut it. And I can get it here. Like that. And like that. And I put it in. Okay, got all the gutter guards in. Came out okay. That was my first time doing gutter guards. Um, my suggestion would be more brackets. Uh, that's probably about it, but it looks pretty good. Hey, this was an easy, simple DIY project that any homeowner can do. It took me about three hours and less than $300 in materials. If you're interested in doing something like this, or you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Daddy yourself.